Well, hello, this is Shiva and uh, Roxy Raccoon's Pinball Panic actually, uh, got an update today. So that's, well, great news. Uh, what a great way to start the weekend. Um, it looks like there's a, a lot of stuff for the the story and the, the built-in tables and not so much for the editor, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, as you can see here, he, he's got a, a new ride body table. That's kind of cool. He's got new characters and, and cosmetics. Uh, he's got more arcade games in. Now, I haven't actually looked at the arcade games all that much. One of the, I guess maybe this weekend I'll, I'll do some of that. But um, he, he's added a couple of new announcers also to the table creator, a demon, ooh, and an undead. Ooh, so, well, yeah. Okay, and with the table update, I, I guess the big one here uh, was what I mentioned in my previous uh, video was the ability to set the Z rotation, which is the height on ramps, which is absolutely fantastic. And also, uh, you can rotate the camera um, now. And I, and I also saw that in the last video, and that's kind of cool too as well, because that really makes things very, very easy to, uh, to place objects and line stuff up. Um, there's also a couple of miscellaneous bug fixes in here. I'm not too sure what he, meant by, what he means by drop-down length, uh, but, well, we'll see. Anyway, we're going to just run the video. And uh, hopefully we uh, and and we'll see what he what he means well, by this. Again, this is going to be a quick update this week. Not much new to add. I've just been putting some pol polishing touches on the big update that's coming out this week. There's a big update in the story mode, and uh, there's a lot of free content coming. So yeah, just keep your eye out for that. But in terms of the table editor. Um, the first thing I want to show off is I added a rotate camera function. So you can do that by holding left control and then just moving the mouse. And now you can rotate the camera back and forth. That was something that was uh, somebody requested. So, oh, oh and uh, if you just press left alt, it will reset the camera back to the original position. That's absolutely awesome, by the way. That's a, that's a really nice Another idea. Thing that was changed was I uh, just changed a couple of things in the UI, improved a couple of things. Um, but the other big feature for this week is when you're making your own custom raceway, there's more customization options. So before you could just change the Y rotation. Now you can do a little bit of the Z rotation as well. Um, Like the amount of rotation can be a little extreme, but I figured I'd add it in case somebody wants it to be that much. Um, you can change the title of the raceway. Don't really worry about that right now because that's more something that'll be more impactful down the road. Um, yeah, points, checkpoint scores were the same as before, but now you can also preview, or you can change the audio of the raceway. That's the sound that plays as you pass through. And yeah, they're themed after the different uh, raceways that are found in the game. Uh, so these are the DMD animations, the LCD. You can change that now. That pops up. So that's uh, these are all the ones that appear in the game. I, again, there's, um, there's quite a few of them. I thought there was eight, actually. It looks like there's quite a bit more. Uh, but yeah, you just select whichever one you want. And it'll just play it, and you play button, and you do it. And then finally, there's uh, change the effects that the, the colors of the sparks, the different types of sparks that come out when you pass through the raceway. And uh, yeah. That looks like that is about it for this week. Just as I said, it was going to be a quick, quick one. Well, that was, um, you know, as I said, it, it was, it's not a huge update by any shapes or means, but the, the three things that he's added are really, really important. Um, so, you know, we'll be uh, getting back to this program very, very soon and building tables and stuff because, I mean, you know, just the ramp stuff, that's pretty awesome. 
Um, but as I mentioned in the last uh, video, uh, the program is not overwriting files. And I, and I have actually told him uh, that could take a little while for uh, him to do because I have a strong suspicion that it's actually a Steam issue more than anything else. This is uh, something that's been quite common with a, a lot of my Steam programs and a lot of Steam games. In fact, the Pinball Editor, the other one, Pin Builder, they actually ended up having to move um, where you can save your files to the app data photo, uh, folders. Uh, in Windows and away from the Steam folders uh, for that reason. So we'll see uh, about what happens with that. That's going to take a little while. But in the meanwhile, you know, as I said before, uh, this program just seems to be getting better and better by leaps and bounds. And uh, so it's been quite impressive. I love the DMD effects. The DMD effects are, are really kind of cool. So I'm really looking forward to getting going on this particular program. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I am just going to end this video. I'm going to do just a very, very short, short one today. Uh, it's Friday evening and I've actually got plans this evening. Uh, so, well, what do you know? Hey, right. So, but in the meanwhile, um, download the latest version. It's just been made live here. Uh, well, just now, really. And uh, in, enjoy the game. The game is, of course, free to play. Uh, it's just the DMDs uh, that you can pay uh, uh, pay to play on. Uh, but the actual main program, it doesn't affect any of the main programs. So I, I suggest to everybody that uh, if you have this program, just shoot the developer uh, uh, some money by buying some of his uh, DLCs. Uh, so it's just great. He's got 13 of them by the looks of this. So... In the meanwhile, this is Shiva, and uh, happy pinball. I'll talk to you all later. Bye now.